Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to download Docker Toolbox for your Mac. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the following GitHub page, github.com slash carthenjamin. And if we go there and click on data recipes, we can read this readme which shows us how to actually install Docker on the proper machine. So I'm going to first assume you have a Mac and we're going to run this command right here in our terminal window, the sysctl kern.hv underscore support. So we're going to open up a terminal application and just run that command. And I have a zero as an output. So now we're going to go down to this section right here that says if you have, if this is the output you saw, we do not have virtualization capability on our MacBook. Therefore, we're going to have to download Docker Toolbox. So how do we do that? We need to follow these steps right here. So first, we're going to download the Docker Toolbox. So just click on that and that should begin a download process. Um, if you can't find that or that link doesn't work, however, just simply Google Docker Toolbox Mac. And you can just go to this website right here, and that's where that link came from. So you can find a, a link to download the Docker Toolbox DMG. And so that would be right there. But it looks like this is just about finished downloading, so let's go ahead and open it up. So there we go. The installer should pop up just in about a second, and we're just going to hit continue. Yes, we want to install Docker Toolbox. And it's probably going to ask you for your passwords. So you're going to need administrative privileges to download this new software. It should be a pretty quick installation. All right, and you'll notice now that you have two new applications. You have the Docker Quick Start Terminal, and you have the Ketomatic Beta. These are the two apps that come with Docker Toolbox. We're just going to hit Continue. Installation was successful. Move the Docker Toolbox installer to the trash. And now if we go into Finder and go into Applications, you will actually have a Docker folder that you can go into. And what you want to do is just go ahead and open this Docker Quick Start Terminal. So once you do that, it's going to boot up a terminal. And if this is the first time, it might take a minute. And there we can see the Docker whale icon. And it says Docker is configured to the default virtual machine at this IP address. So now from here, we can actually run Docker commands. So that's just running Docker, Docker version. OK, great. So at this point, if you have a Mac without virtualization, you now successfully can run Docker commands using this Docker Quick Start Terminal. So now, let's go back to that GitHub page. And let's get the data recipes uh, Docker container up and running. So OK. And so here's that GitHub page. And we can see the container right here. And so now we've actually completed all of these steps. We've opened up the Docker Quick Start Terminal. And now we want to run Docker. So you want to go down here where it says Mac without virtualization. You want to right click on this link. And let's do that. So we want to download this file as startuptoolbox.sh. We'll save it to our desktop. And that should be done. So we're going to navigate back to our uh, Docker terminal. I'm just going to clear the screen. And an LS shows me I can go into the desktop right here. So CD into desktop. And now from here, we can first change modifications on the uh, SH file so that it becomes executable. So now we can actually run this file. So don't forget to run this chmod command right here. And now you can do dot slash startup toolbox dot sh. So let's run that. And it's going to have to download uh, the Jupyter Notebook uh, Docker container. And if it's the first time you're doing that, it might take a little bit. But if you have it, it should be very quick. You can just run this command. And now you can see it is loading up a server. And we hit, are now on the page that has all of the Jupyter Notebook tutorials. And so now we can go back to our 
terminal and we can see that we are in the uh, bash of the Docker container. So if I do an ls, I can see there's a notebooks uh, directory. If we change directories into that and do a list, we have the ACOS, emerge, reading bin, subset, and you can see all of those right here. So for example, I can click on the emerge tutorial and I can click on this IPYNB file. That's a Jupyter notebook. And I can wait for this to load. And so here's a Jupyter notebook that you can run through, run the commands, and if you see any place that requires a terminal command like this one, we can just take this command, copy it, and then we can paste it here, and then run it, and it should work. All right, so in this tutorial, we've gone over how to install Docker Toolbox for Macs without virtualization, and we've gone over actually how to get the right container. You just have to get this startup toolbox.sh file, and then just run a couple of commands. And the Jupyter Notebooks will open, and then you can uh, feel free to start one of the tutorials and have the terminal window open because you'll have to use both of them sometimes. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And in the future, we'll be making videos about how to actually use Jupyter Notebooks. So check that out in the description. And I'll also link this GitHub page, which has a more detailed instructions on how to actually uh, go through all the installation steps and how to work with the Mac without virtualization. So thank you for watching.